Welcome to in and out and Foodie Friday, everybody. I saw this car in the parking lot. Pretty cool, hey? As always, super clean restrooms. Yes, they are. I mean, look at that. That is perfect, well stocked. Love it in and out. Time to wash my hands. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. It really is gonna be good. Should I sing the song, huh? The hand washing song? I don't think so. There we go. Paper towels always loaded. What could be better than this? Well, the food is a lot better than that. Look at those hardworking people. I think I'm going to have a milkshake. So I couldn't decide, did I want chocolate or strawberry? So here I am confusing the guy and said, hey, how about half and half? So the guy's like, sure, sure. Now, Instead of just chocolate and strawberry, do you want Neapolitan? And I'm like, with the vanilla. And I'm real fussy. I like vanilla bean ice cream. So I just went with the uh, chocolate and strawberry shake. But that was pretty cool that they're going to do it for me. Eh? Whoa, hello there. Oh my gosh, that's so squeaky, isn't it? Let's try that again. Well, hello there, everybody. Thank you all for joining me for lunch. Oh my gosh, I love In-N-Out Burger. Everything is always clean, all the time, 724. And uh, the reason why I'm having a uh, milkshake, and I'm gonna show you the milkshake pretty soon. Let's see. Did you hear that? They got me chocolate and strawberries, two of my favorite flavors. They would have done Neapolitan, but I'm like, eh. I love vanilla ice cream, but only if it's, uh, what is that? Vanilla bean. Yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, we got to do this properly, don't we? We got to remove the hat. We got to remove the hat. And then what do we have to do? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful out there. It's beautiful out there. We have to put on the proper hat. We do have to put on the proper hat. There we go. I love their hats here. I really do. Lunch today, it's 590 calories. I can only eat half of it. Lunch today, $3, yay, so that's not out of the uh, price range. So uh, let's give it a look, okay? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Now then, this is real ice cream, not that fake stuff. So uh, let's, I'm going to dunk your head into it. Let's see if we can get a really good shot. There we go. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. What could be better than chocolate and strawberry except for chocolate and raspberry. Mm -mm -mm. I have a chocolate side over here. I have a strawberry side over here. I did not know they could do that, but I'm so happy that they could. Anyhow, it may be too loud to record in here, so I might be doing a voiceover. Let's try the chocolate. That is so thick and juicy, I'm gonna to have to ask for a spoon. Excuse me, miss. Could I have a spoon? Thank you. Mm. How does anybody drink anything so thick? This strawberry is delicious too. It tastes really, really good. Anyhow, so let's get to some serious stuff. Even better, isn't it? Yes, it is. So I've had a lot of really good fans throughout the year. Here comes my spoon. Such a wonderful person. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I got a lot of wonderful fans. You all know who you are. You're always commenting or you send me a card. I absolutely love the cards. By the way, what are you having for lunch today? Mm. I'm having this for two reasons. Let's see. What are the two reasons? I woke up this morning and I weighed myself and I'm down four pounds. That's a lot to be down in two weeks. So, uh, calorie dense food. And uh, Mr. Louie took me out to this wonderful place for breakfast. And uh, I had something fattening there. So, uh, Operation Fatten Up. Mm, mm, mm. That is good. All right, so I have wonderful fans. You're always commenting, you know, um, sending me stuff. Even if it's just a postcard, I really love it. By the way, my mailing address is going to change. I'm going to move it to San Diego. I'll probably get a San Diego box. So 
I've been working on little thank yous for people and let me show you what's in the thank yous. Now this is an experiment. I just did this a few hours ago. Now these are stickers and I'm trying, they're normally just plain silver, but I'm trying to paint them with my alcohol ink. So let's see, it's not going to rub off. I sprayed it. So uh, that is one of the things I will be sending people. Now then, in the envelope, I hand painted the little flowers. I made them all shiny and everything. So that looks really good. You're going to get a couple of stickers, a happy face and a happy face. A couple of my brand new cards. Oh, it gets better than that. It really does. A couple of my brand new cards. You're going to love this one. Okay, so this is the sticker painted and this is it unpainted. Uh, which do you like better? Do you like the unpainted one better or do you like the painted one better? Uh, put it in the comments below, okay? Then I've been having fun with my little uh, Cricut maker. Not the cuddle bug, the, the little joy. All right, now get a look at that sticker. Now, they're gonna be different kinds of uh, groovy stickers. I'm gonna do this for like the first month. Pretty cool, huh? So that's going in. And then, of course, this is a refrigerator magnet, see? So you can stick it on your refrigerator. So that's what I'm putting together for all you people because you're always wonderful. You're always supporting me. Thank you. Let me put this up. Thank you for all your support. I real, You have no idea how much it means to me or I wake up in the morning. I could have had a night terror and then I read your loving comments. So I really super duper appreciate it and uh, I'm getting on this right away. So thank you for that. Did you tell me what you're having for lunch? Did you put it in the comments below? Mmm. Yep, Operation Fatten Up. Mmm. I know something weird. Let's do chocolate and strawberry together. Yay! So when I actually have ice cream, my favorite is like dark chocolate with raspberry drizzle. That's one of my favorite things to have. Mmm. It's the little things in life that make life meaning, isn't it? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I'm about ready to take off to go around the country, and I know you're excited about that. I believe my uh, takeoff date is Monday or Tuesday, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of scary. Yes, it is, but it's going to be so worth it. I can't wait to get to the East Coast. I really can't. Um, what else was I going to talk about? But when I come back, things are changing. I'm getting a little spinny wheel. We're going to have spinning fun. Uh, I'm going to make a little advent calendar, and every day I'm going to pop it open. And uh, it'll be things like whoever comments first will get a little goodie bag. You know, fun games like that. You know, if I'm going to be landlocked in a house, you know, not I'm not going to be landlocked. Okay. I'm going to go on massive day trips. Of course, I'm going to Quartzsite for a couple of months. You know, the only thing is, is maybe I'll travel six months out of the year instead of all year round. And uh, I'm okay with that. And I hope you're okay with that too. And uh, yeah, I just want to make the show a lot more fun. I think I'm uh, working on a video. Uh, we all know you, uh, who is the redneck guy. Well, I'm doing... Uh, text jock worthy okay and uh, I, I'm putting together a video on that for the uh, snackle box that'll be a lot of fun mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this but I think I would have rather had the uh, french fries mm -hmm. like I said I'm not really big on sweets I'm not but I am enjoying this so uh, go ahead, finish your lunch. I'm going to take you to a special store pretty soon, okay? I hope you're enjoying lunch with me. Well, are you having a good lunch? Mm -mm -mm. So it melted a lot. It's 86 degrees out here, so I thought I'd try it with the straw again. That is hard to do. You gotta have some good suction there. 
I think we'll go back to the spoon. Plus, it's more fun with the spoon. I can just get some chocolate, I can get some strawberry, or just get both. Oh my gosh, I couldn't resist the fries. Don't they look so delicious? And uh, I forgot my Cholula sauce. Okay, I swear I tried, I tried to drink a shake. It's like, it's delicious, but it's just not me. So uh, what did I get? Some hot fries. And uh, I don't have my Cholula sauce on me. Darn it, but that's okay. I'll suffer through it, I will. Mm. These are like the weirdest fries ever, but they're fresh potatoes. So it makes them pretty good. I hope you get a chance to come out here, SoCal, Las Vegas. Come and try In-N-Out. It is so different, delicious, simple, easy menu. You know, what do you want? You want a burger, you want a burger, fries, shake, you know, soda. It's That's it. They're not trying to be... You know, a lot of these restaurants, they're just constantly changing, you know? You could be uh, Arby's Roast Beef, but today you're selling hamburgers or chicken fries and chicken McNuggets and a fish sandwich, and it's like, you go to In-N-Out and all the time they're, they're serving the same things. All right, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, what would fries taste like with a milkshake? Is that gonna be delicious or what? <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> not good that's funny you know what we're going to do this one more time just to be sure I don't want to make any mistakes I don't is that any good it's pretty good oh. alright so we're going to answer the age old question why did Malteri cross the road huh now let's answer another question. Why is Mal Terry going to cross the road again? Really? Because she forgot her shopping bags. Why? Because this is California and they'll charge you a dime if you get a bag. So back to the car. All right, here we go. So why did I cross the road? To get to the Dollar Tree, of course. Goodbye, Summer. Hello, fall. All right. Is it time for a new pair of glasses? You betcha. Oh, that one's so bright. All right, who wants to see if I can cook these in my mini rice cooker, huh? That should be interesting. Look how small that is. Wait a minute, let me put my hand there. Okay, that's supposed to be a bag. 1.75 ounces, that's teeny tiny. Thank you for joining me and what I'm working on for my next video is great stealth camping locations in beautiful San Diego. As usual, I will see you down the road. Here's a hint. There's a fence and there's a perfect place to stealth camp right along here. Look at that.